Climate change mitigation scenarios are possible futures in which global warming is reduced by deliberate actions, such as a comprehensive switch to energy sources other than fossil fuels. These are actions that minimize emissions so atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations are stabilized at levels that restrict the adverse consequences of climate change. Using these scenarios, the examination of the impacts of different carbon prices on an economy is enabled within the framework of different levels of global aspirations. A typical mitigation scenario is constructed by selecting a long range target, such as a desired atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide, and then fitting the actions to the target, for example by placing a cap on net global and national emissions of greenhouse gases. An increase of global temperature by more than 2 degrees Celsius has come to be the majority definition of what would constitute intolerably dangerous climate change with efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels per the Paris Agreement. Some climate scientists are increasingly of the opinion that the goal should be a complete restoration of the atmosphere's pre-industrial condition, on the grounds that too protracted a deviation from those conditions will produce irreversible changes. <laughs> Stabilization wedges A stabilization wedge or simply wedge is an action which incrementally reduces projected emissions. The name is derived from the triangular shape of the gap between reduced and unreduced emissions trajectories when graphed over time. For example, a reduction in electricity demand due to increased efficiency means that less electricity needs to be generated and thus fewer emissions need to be produced. The term originates in the stabilization wedge game. As a reference unit, a stabilization wedge is equal to the following examples of mitigation initiatives, deployment of 200,000 10 MW wind turbines, completely halting the deforestation and planting of 300 million hectares of trees, the increase in the average energy efficiency of all the world's buildings by 25%, or the installation of carbon capture and storage facilities in 800 large coal-fired power plants. Pakala and Sokolo proposed in their work, Stabilization Wedges, that seven wedges are required to be delivered by 2050 at current technologies, to make a significant impact on the mitigation of climate change. There are, however, sources that estimate the need for 14 wedges because Pakala and Sokolo's proposal would only stabilize carbon dioxide emissions at current levels but not the atmospheric concentration, which is increasing by more than 2 ppm per year. In 2011, Sokolo revised their earlier estimate to 9. Target levels of CO2 Contributions to climate change, whether they cool or warm the Earth, are often described in terms of the radiative forcing or imbalance they introduce to the planet's energy budget. Now and in the future, anthropogenic carbon dioxide is believed to be the major component of this forcing, and the contribution of other components is often quantified in terms of parts per million carbon dioxide equivalent", ppm CO2e, or the increment, decrement in carbon dioxide concentrations which would create a radiative forcing of the same magnitude. At present, non-CO2 contributions to climate change, positive and negative, are believed to roughly cancel out, so that the net radiative forcing being experienced at present, expressed in ppm CO2e, is more or less the same as the actual current level of carbon dioxide 406.75 ppm CO2, as of December 2017. To some extent this legitimates the statement of targets just in terms of ppm CO2, as is usually the case. However, the positive and negative non-CO2 will not necessarily balance in future, and so a target stated in terms of CO2e is less ambiguous. <laughs> Topic. 
450 ppm The Blue Scenarios in the IEA's Energy Technology Perspectives publication of 2008 describe pathways to a long-range concentration of 450 ppm. Joseph Rom has sketched how to achieve this target through the application of 14 wedges. World Energy Outlook 2008, mentioned above, also describes a 450 policy scenario in which extra energy investments to 2030 amount to $9.3 trillion over the reference scenario. The scenario also features, after 2020, the participation of major economies such as China and India in a global cap-and-trade scheme initially operating in OECD and European Union countries. Also the less conservative 450 ppm scenario calls for extensive deployment of negative emissions, i.e. the removal of CO2 from the atmosphere. According to the International Energy Agency and OECD, "...achieving lower concentration targets 450 ppm depends significantly on the use of BECCS." Topic: 550 ppm. This is the target advocated as an upper bound in the Stern review. As approximately a doubling of CO2 levels relative to pre-industrial times, it implies a temperature increase of about three degrees, according to conventional estimates of climate sensitivity. Pakala and Sokolo list 15 wedges. Any seven of which in combination should suffice to keep CO2 levels below 550 ppm. The International Energy Agency's World Energy Outlook report for 2008 describes a reference scenario for the world's energy future, which assumes no new government policies beyond those already adopted by mid 2008, and then a 550 policy scenario in which further policies are adopted, a mixture of «cap-and-trade systems, sectoral agreements and national measures». In the reference scenario, between 2006 and 2030 the world invests $26.3 trillion in energy supply infrastructure, in the 550 policy scenario, a further $4.1 trillion is spent in this period, mostly on efficiency increases which deliver fuel cost savings of over $7 trillion. Other greenhouse gases Greenhouse gas concentrations are aggregated in terms of carbon dioxide equivalent. Some multi-gas mitigation scenarios have been modeled by Mineshausen et al. As a short-term focus In a 2000 paper, Hansen argued that the 0.75 degrees Celsius rise in average global temperatures over the last 100 years has been driven mainly by greenhouse gases other than carbon dioxide, since warming due to CO2 had been offset by cooling due to aerosols, implying the viability of a strategy initially based around reducing emissions of non CO2 greenhouse gases and of black carbon, focusing on CO2 only in the long Longer run. This was also argued by Veerabhadran Ramanathan and Jessica Seddon Wallach. The September October 2009 Foreign Affairs. Topic. See also. Four Degrees and Beyond International Climate Conference. Adaptation to global warming. Bioenergy with carbon capture and storage BECCS Carbon dioxide removal CDR Carbon negative fuel Climate change mitigation Climate engineering geoengineering Emissions trading Energy modeling Environmental protection 
Virgin Earth Challenge